everyone, so today we're going to be going through a bunch of recent polling data that we've been getting in the last few days. So we're going to be going through a brand new CNN poll that we're going to take a deep dive into, a Hill Harris X poll, a Morning Consult poll, a Harvard Harris poll, a Quinnipiac poll, and a Monmouth poll. So if we just go back into the uh, latest polls like that, um, and we can see that actually there is, uh, if we go into this part, uh, if we go into, uh, states like Michigan, uh, if we go into Michigan and, uh, there, we can also go into, where's a Pennsylvania poll? Um, I was sure there was a Pennsylvania thing here, but, um, um, general election, Pennsylvania. Here, yeah, so we can see in both of these polls in Michigan, Biden is up 12 in the latest Detroit News poll. Sanders also up 12 in the latest Detroit News poll. In Pennsylvania, uh, Biden is ahead by 11 in the latest Quinnipiac. And Sanders is ahead by 7 in the latest Quinnipiac poll. So that's uh, something to note in both of those. So if we go back into uh, this one that 2020 presidential nomination because uh, this is what's really going to matter for the primary so let's open all of these brand new polls that we're going to be looking at today we'll work each of them through one by one uh, but first before I get into those polls I'd like to take a look at the real clear politics running average of the 2020 Democratic nominations so Right now, Joe, uh, this is before he announced, Joe Biden at 29.3% of support among the Democratic primary electorate, Bernie Sanders at 23.0%. As soon as Biden announces, he shots right up, and within a week of his announcement, or within two weeks of his announcement, he's nearing 42%. Sanders is down at 14%. Sanders, uh, Sanders losing about 9% of support there. Biden gaining quite a solid bit, about 12% of support. Uh, so, yes, so that this is uh, after Joe Biden announces within the first one or two weeks, right? And then Joe Biden slowly but surely starts to decrease. Bernie Sanders, that doesn't really de increase or decrease as much. But Joe Biden, we can solidly see he's decreasing here, he's falling. But then now we get to 35% and he's kind of leveling off a bit at 35%. So, uh, so yeah, and Bernie Sanders, we can see also leveling off there. So that's the real clear politics running average. And we can see a bunch of these people just have no chance whatsoever. Let's immediately eliminate some of these characters. Steve Bullock, Kirsten Gillibrand, John Delaney, John Hickenlooper, Bill de Blasio, uh, Marianne Williamson, Tim Ryan, Jay Inslee, Michael Bennett, yeah, I kind of want to say Tulsi Gabbard as well. And then Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang, I must say. Andrew Yang, we can see he's kind of lost a bit of his support. So uh, here's Andrew Yang. Um, if we go down, we can see him properly. Yang was kind of at 1.0%. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, Yang was at uh, about 1%. Now, and then when Biden announced, he kind of went back up. Now he seems to be falling down a bit, but it's really not much. So anyway, this is the CNN. This is the CNN poll. Okay, so uh, if we go into the favorable unfavorables, uh, is that Joe Biden? No. Okay, Bernie Sanders. Favorable forty six, unfavorable forty four. That's not too good news. I mean. You know, when when we saw in 2016, uh, during that election season, he was kind of at the height of his favourable, unfavourable, 60 to 32. Now he's dropped down to 46 to 44. Elizabeth Warren underwater there with her favourables. Pete Buttigieg at 22 to 19 in favour of the favourables. Uh, Kamala, <laughs> in favour of the favourables. Kamala Harris also has a net unfavorable, same thing with Michael Bennett, Steve Bullock, and look at Bill de Blasio, goodness me, he has a massive unfavorable, um, but this is among Democrats, among Democrats, Bernie Sanders has a 
pretty high approval rating, but not to be beaten by Joe Biden. Uh, so that's also something to note. Bill de Blasio actually has an unfavorable rating just with his own party, so that's not very good. Okay, uh, so if we go now into uh, here. Okay, so Joe Biden, 32. Bernie Sanders, 18. This is Joe Biden has decreased his number. Bernie Sanders has increased it. Uh, Harris has increased her number. Elizabeth Warren has decreased. Mayor Pete has decreased. Beto O'Rourke has decreased. Cory Booker has decreased. Uh, Julian Castro has actually increased. Club Shah stayed the same. Bennett has increased. Gabbard has decreased. Kirsten Gillibrand has stayed the same. Jay Inslee has stayed the same. Tim Ryan, uh, I don't know what that is, but he's at 1%. Andrew Yang stays the same. And then the rest of them at 1% or less. Oh, Eric Swalwell. Eric Swalwell, 1% to 0%. So that's not too good for Swalwell. Okay. Uh, yes, so that is that. Um, if we go down to here... Mythology, I honestly think it's okay. I mean, you know, it's just very vague, but um, but that's okay. Okay, so that's the CNN poll. Biden maintains 19-point lead over Sanders in new poll. Former Vice President leads Welcome Joe Biden. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg was in a distant third place. Elizabeth Warren at 5%. Okay, so this is the full poll results. 35 to 16 to 8 to 5 to 4 to 4 to 3. 17% still unsure. Okay, morning consult polling. Okay, if we go into the actual thing. Okay, here. So, uh, if we go and just look at one candidate. Let's say we want to just look at Andrew Yang. So, he went, he was reached a high of 2%, now he's down to 1%, but that's okay, I mean, okay, Bill de Blasio, he's always met, maintained at, like, 0%, I mean, that's really, like, a not good for de Blasio, okay, now, if we just go into, just look at the front runners: Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, add in Joe Biden, add in Elizabeth Warren, add in Kamala Harris, add in Pete Buttigieg. Okay, so these are the five people who actually have a chance. Okay, so Joe Biden, we can see he kind of varied. This is when he announced, he went up, and according to Morning Consult, he hasn't really decreased, which is not uh, the, the same thing that was happening in some other polls. Okay, Bernie Sanders. Okay, we can see Right, and then when Joe Biden announces, he decreases, and he kind of has been decreasing ever since. Morning consult, again, uh, that's not in line with most of the other polls. Okay, Kamala Harris, 7%, she announces, she spikes up to 14%, uh, within realm of the actual front runners. But then ever since then, she kind of has been going on a bit of up and down, but overall, keep going down. Okay, Elizabeth Warren, 11% when she announces. She's kind of been going down, maintaining 7%. Then, in the last few weeks, she's kind of been going up. Now, she's at 10%. Okay, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, uh, he announces a long time ago. He's at 0%. No one knows who he is. 1%. This is when his media spike kind of began in May. Okay, he spikes up to 9%. Okay, now he's coming back down to 6%, coming up to 7%. Okay. So, uh, second choice is Biden would go to Sanders, Joe B Bernie Sanders would go to Joe Biden, Warren goes to Kamala Harris, Harris goes to Joe Biden, Buttigieg goes to Joe Biden. Okay. So, favorable, unfavorables. Biden and Sanders are actually relatively similar in this case. Um, not many people still don't know what, who they are. Um, and then if that's the whole primary among early state voters here, uh, we can go here. Okay. So here we can see among early state voters, Biden at 40%, 38%, Sanders 19 Elizabeth Warren at 10 um, Kamala Harris at 8 Pete Buttigieg at 7 Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, and then the it's very similar actually among the, the second choices. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's the morning consult poll, Harvard Harris poll. Okay, so this is the meth methodology of the poll 26% of 18 to 34, 23%, 35 to 49, 
29%, 50 to 64, 21%, 65 and older. Okay, uh, that seems that seems fine. If we go down into the actual thing, this is a very uh, very long poll. We can see that. Uh, yeah, we can just go down to the here. Let's see if we can actually just search Sanders. Okay, here, Bernie Sanders. Uh, this is the uh, ever heard of one. Favorable, unfavorable. Where's the next thing? You can search for it. Um, okay, Bernie Sanders, 17%. Joe Biden, 36%. Kamala Harris, 8 Warren at 5 Buttigieg, 5 Beto O'Rourke, 4 Cory Booker, 3 Hickenlooper, 1 Gravel, actually, coming into this poll at 1%. That's interesting. Tim Ryan at 1 Andrew Yang at 1 Castro at 1 Inslee at 1 Delaney at 1 Eric Swalwell, Kirsten Gillibrand, Tulsi Gabbard, Amy Klobuchar, Williamson, Messam, all not registering. Okay, that's pretty much the poll. Okay, Quinnipiac. So this is the uh, favorabilities uh, of the different of the different people. Uh, if we go into the search for Sanders, okay, here we go. Biden is the top pick for the party nomination among 35% of Democrats. Sanders has 16%, 13% for Warren, 8% for Harris, 5% for Buttigieg. No other Democrat tops 3%, with most less than 1%. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's the end of that poll. Okay, women rise in Dem 2020 field. Biden maintains lead, but it's not larger among early state voters. Okay, 33% of Democrats, a uh, small increase uh, here if we go into Sanders has the support of 15% uh, of Democrats, which is a decline. Uh, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg at 6%, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Representative Tulsi Gabbard at 1%. Uh, if we go actually go into the, the thing... Okay, favorable ratings. This is among Democrats. 57 for Biden, 49 for Harris, 46 for Warren, 44 for Sanders, 28 for Booker, 24 for Buttigieg, 22 for Klobuchar, 21 for O'Rourke, 18 for Castro, Kirsten Gillibrand at 11. Bill de Blasio, again, the real standout here. I mean, under what am I, 9% among your own party? It's just embarrassing, mate. I mean, that is just like embarrassing and he is like he is really really uh that's that's really not good for him he has no chance i mean that's just hilarious so uh, so that's how <laughs> build a plus oh my okay that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching this video comment down your suggestions below and i'll see you all in the next one peace